Looks like Chuck's taken old one eye to the optometrist. And that's it. Sammy? I'm just sad because all the celebrities have died this week. I mean, Farrah Fawcett, Michael Jackson, Billy Mays. Yeah, and it all started off with Ed McMahon. Life insurance with no physical examination and no medical questions. Because of a limited benefit period, you cannot be turned down for any reason. And your premium... Oh, and, uh, don't forget Fred Travolina. He was a great impressionist. A lot better than you are, Mark. Whoa, you mean Fred Travolina's died too? There's only one solution to this problem. Trauma movie. Trauma movie. Trauma! Trauma! Let's see what trauma movie we got. Stop! Monster in the Closet, a trauma movie that's rated PG and has an all-star cast. It really is a trauma movie. I know, Title Monster, it is pretty jaw-dropping that this is a trauma movie, because it has Henry Gibson, Howard Duff, John Carradine's also in it, and then there's also Paul Dooley, Stella Stevens, uh, Kevin Peter Hall is the uh, monster, Donald Moffat and his world's biggest eyebrows, and Claude Aiken and his fine butt. And yeah, I'm not a bad movie reviewer unless I make a one reference to Claude Aiken's butt. You been checking out my butt again? Oh, that's all right. You guys are right. With this All Star cast, it's kind of funny because the people that aren't top build kind of eclipse them. <laughs> That girl, like a child, misses her blanket. Big girls don't cry, they pee their pants. <laughs> yeah, that's Fergie. The movie's a horror comedy, but a lot of the jokes are. Pretty much hit or miss. There's some really good funny stuff. Now be a good doggy and bring old Joe his slippers. Sounds like it came from outside. Let's go. Dr. Pennyworth, could you understand what it said? No. There's also the unfunny parts. For example, the uh, over-aggressive title cards that 
try to be cute and tell either too much information or too little information about the times um, that these uh, deaths are going on in this movie. Still, it's better than anything that the guys that did disaster movie or date movie could ever pull it out, out of their ass. Overall, it's a pretty good little flick, so I say check it out. And stick around for the not-too-subtle homosexual um, subtext involving in the closet. Get it? Sammy? Oh, Murky, it wasn't that good.